today I will be reviewing Survivor 35 episode one premiere. So today was the season premiere of um, Survivor 35 and as you know if you're a hardcore Survivor fan you know it's going to be a long long season. But I will say it wasn't bad for a premiere. Well first of all let me address the obvious. So I'm about to have a um, party after this so there are people in the background preparing, you know, cooking food, you know, gotta have good food at a party and getting everything together. So just try to ignore them because, you know, the show must go on. I still have to do this review, you know, because I like Survivor. But besides that, try to block everybody out. Just focus in on what I'm saying, okay? It might be hard, but you can do it. So right away, I want to acknowledge. So I made a Meet the Cast video a couple days ago and a lot of the personalities I was dead on. Now, I don't want to call myself, you know, some kind of psychic, but I probably would go with something less subtle and call myself a genius because I kind of pegged a lot of people right away, you know. I mean, genius, you know, it's, I, couldn't, I couldn't think of a more subtle word, okay? So, let's get into it. So immediately the groups are split up into three. There's the heroes, the hustlers, and the healers. So if you've seen my um, previous video, when I introduced the cast, I said there will be some twists this year. And um, there are a couple. So, But let's introduce everybody. So in the um, heroes group, now... I'm only gonna, I'm not gonna introduce everybody because that's what I did in my last video, but I'm just gonna talk about some people that stood out in my opinion. Okay, so this is the the craziest group to me, the heroes. I mean, they're, you know, they're a little, well, I don't, I'm gonna use another general word, psycho. Okay, they're a little psycho. And uh, there's Alan, remember he's the football player. Um, there's JP, there's Ashley, Ben, Katrina, and Chrissy. Now they call, Katrina and Chrissy, the mom squad, okay? You know, uh, I think it was Katrina was an Olympian. But, you know, they're, they're women up in age, okay? So right away, the young people kind of click. They all des decide we're going to be, you know, an alliance. Now, if you watch these shows, you know, whenever you form an alliance right away, like within the first week, that alliance never survives. I mean, it's just just common fact. I mean... I'm sure they watched the previous shows. Like, did they forget this? Okay, fine. So, poor little JP, who's the firefighter. Ashley has taken a liking to him. I mean, there's nothing he did. Just, just she just thinks he's cute, and she's following him around the damn island like a puppy dog. Like he can't get rid of her. Like day one, and I feel bad because he has no say in this. She just sticks to like glue, like not just glue, crazy glue, okay? So that's the first things I noticed right away with the heroes group. Let's go with the hustlers, which is Allie. I like Allie, I like Patrick. These two I like right, right, right away. Uh, Ryan is the one that discovers the uh, idol right away. So he, you know, the minute they got off the boat, he discovered the idol and he was kind of quiet about it. So the idol was, you could save somebody during tribal council, you could use it if you wanted to, or if you don't use it, you have to give it to the losing group. Okay, so, but he was kind of quiet about it. And, but right away, he takes a liking to Devin. Now, Devin's my favorite. Go back and watch my tape. I said, I really, really like Devin because, you know, he's from Carlsbad, California. I lived in Carlsbad a long time. And I, you know, like I said before, you know, Carlsbad, you know, the, Kind of, you know, you need a little change to live there. But so things have changed for Devin, you know, like he's not as, in Carlsbad anymore. He's in Solana Beach and he's jobless, okay? But he's still really cool. And I really, really like him. He was just, he's a surfer. And he had the surfer attitude. He was like laid back, you know, not too high. You can't be too hyper. He's kind of laid back. And Ryan is taking a liking to him immediately. And he ends up telling Devin that he has the idol. So right away, they bond right away. So those were the standout people in the hustlers group. So now let's move on to the healers. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. The healers, the healers is crazy. So the people that stand out right away for me in the healers is Desi. She has a lot of confidence. Okay. You know, I just noticed that right away. And then there's Mike. And the reason why Mike stands out to me, because he is 
paranoid. Like, I mean, the, the, the first day, he's paranoid. He goes around, he's looking for the idol. He's worried about people voting him out. This is before anybody said anything to him. I mean, he's just paranoid. He says he has a, a kid and a wife back at home and he's doing this for them. But yeah, they're all there. Everybody's there for a reason. You have to calm down. Like, just calm down. You know, that kind of paranoia scares me. You know, because it makes people do crazy things. And another person that stands out right away would be Joe. Now, remember the guy that I called it. I said he's from the Bronx. You know, he's from New York. He has a New York attitude. You know, people from New York, you know, they, well, they're not mean. They're just like a little bit pushy. You know, just, just a little bit. And not only was he, um, from uh, New York and with his New York attitude, he's also a uh, probation officer. And so, you know, he's just used to people lying to him all the time. And that's how he treats everybody, like calm down. So immediately, right away, he suspects that Mike is going looking for the idol. So Mike, so he confronts Mike. He says, I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you. You know, that's how New Yorkers do. They corner you. You know, they don't let you get away with anything. Poor little Mike. His little knees start shaking. You know, I felt bad for him. And so Joe, Joe says, that New York probation officer point of view, do you have the idol? Right away. Like, he doesn't beat around the bush. And then poor little already paranoid Mike. Mike is paranoid. This just raised his anxiety level. I mean, I would say he need a Xanax, but he's on some damn island that he can't get to him. But he needs something to calm him down. This really raises his anxiety. So those were my first impressions of the groups. Now let's get to games. So right away, right out the box, I come to the conclusion that the heroes are the most messed up group. Like, they, they got some problems. They got some issues going on. And their main issue is Alan. Okay, the ex-football player. Like, what's up is wrong with him? Like, you know, okay, I don't want to be mean. And I'm not going to say paranoid or, you know, I'm going to use a more gentle term. I mean, I he just reminds me of like, you know, I don't want to come off too hard. A schizophrenic. He reminds me of schizophrenic. He's seeing things that is not there, okay? So right away he notices that Ashley and JP are really close, but he's not really looking at it fully. He, because JP is being trapped by poor little a Ashley. Like she just is sticking around him like glue. You know, he tried walking away. You know how it is. She just keeps following him. But right away, everyone noticed, you know, these two seem to be close, but it's not what it seems. He's really being cornered by Ashley, okay? But paranoid, I mean, schizophrenic Alan decides to, what he calls, call them out. Put a, a target on their back. Now, he didn't, he didn't consider, let me go talk to them. So, you know, see what's going on. Now, so they had already formed up. They were going to be these four against the mom squad, remember? But Par schizophrenic Alan thinks that he sees something here and he has to break this up right away. So he doesn't talk to anybody about it. He goes to Ben and he was like, I know what's going on. But then he doesn't tell Ben that he's going to corner poor little JP and Ashley and accuse them of having the idol. Did you find the idol? They were like, no. No, I know you have the idol. No, I don't have the idol. No, no, I'm telling you, you have the item. You have it in your pants. <laughs> They're looking at him like, what kind of nut job <laughs> are you? He would not let it go. Ash was like, please don't jump to conclusions. He didn't talk it out, anything. Did he really, this is what made me label him schizophrenic. He tells JP to drop his pants. <laughs> JP drops his pants. Now, you would think that Alan would be like, well, no, I don't want to, you know, you to drop your pants. No, he reaches in and checks his underwear. Okay, if that's not schizophrenic behavior, you know, I don't know what he is, okay? Like, please, if somebody just told me to lift, open my mouth so they could see anything, I would be done with it. But drop my pants? What, JP? JP's like, he's got to be a patient guy. But, you know, this doesn't sit well with Ashley. And it shouldn't, because something is wrong with Alan. So, being paranoid, he goes over and he tells Ben, you know, like, I think these two, you know, are going to be alliance. We need to put a stop to it. 
Oh boy, I mean, you know, but every year they have some kind of nut job. So, you know, at least Alan's the first one, right? Okay, let's move on. So it's time for competition to see who's going to go to tribal council. Okay, these competitions are getting more and more strenuous each year. I mean, it's insane. I mean, I just, I don't think I could do it, you know. But, you know, I would have to for the million dollars. Okay, so the competition is, it's almost like a, um, it's different events, obstacle course almost like. So the first thing would be like they have to pull this cart up a, a, like a, a ramp, like a roller coaster ramp, okay? Everybody has to pull, and then when they get the ramp, when they get the cart up, everybody gets in the cart, they go to the bottom, they go to the bottom, they choose like these different kind of mazes, then they take the mazes, they climb them up some like wall type thing, and then like an obstacle course, and then they come down, and then they have to do the maze, like the obstacle maze. With this ball, you gotta go and make the ball land in these little box, you know, and then at the end, you have your winner. These were really crazy obstacle courses. I mean, because, you know, you had to <clears throat> pull the ramp, you go up, you go down, you, you you know, that got your heart speeding, then you get to the maze, you have to calm down, do the maze. So, you know, it was kind of challenging, but not as bad as it's going to get. You know, at least everybody's still full, you know, they get really bad when you start getting hungry, right? So they drew this, and it was really interesting to watch, you know, and so also it wasn't a competition where the strongest person won. So actually it was a group event, a group event. So the first set of, uh, first obstacle, the healers won, the hustlers came in second, the heroes came in third, the second obstacle, the healers came in first, heroes came in third, hustlers came in third, and then the final one would be healers came, won it. They won first place, then the hustlers, and then tribal council will go to the heroes. You know, the one group that I call, you know, unstable. You know, that's Alan's group, you know, schizo Alan. And I don't mean schizo in a mean way. So I don't want anyone to say you're being mean to Alan. Schizo is a loving term. I mean, my mom calls me schizo all the time, and I'm not offended. So let's get back to the tribes. So when they get back to the tr their tribes, you know, Schizo Allen, he was already paranoid, but now knowing that somebody's going to the tribal council, he is schizo off the radar. Now, I made that term up, but the term makes sense. You know, there's schizo radars, you know, there's charge. Are you, you know, schizo first degree, stage one, schizo stage three, you know, it's like, it's like four stages. And he went immediately to schizo stage four, immediately. So he says, Nope, no one's talking to me. This is what's going on in his head. So I'm, I'm probably the one going home. So he goes to his partner in crime. Now, Ben knows he's a schizo, but you know, maybe there's something about, you know, the schizo that he likes, you know, cause you can still be friends with crazy people, right? I mean, I had a lot of crazy friends. No offense, friends. You know, I remember my friends are helping me cook. <laughs> I had a lot of crazy friends. So, you know, Ben's still sticking with, you know, stage four schizo, Alan. So he tells Alan that, you know, I think I'm going home. I mean, he is paranoid. So Alan thinks he's going to calm down the next day and everybody can talk about it. Mm -mm, not with stage four. When you have stage four schizophrenia, you don't calm down. You get worse. So what does he do? He hightails it over to the mom squad, which is Katrina and Chrissy. And... Chrissy, I forgot to add about Chrissy. After the, after losing, the the competition was so strenuous for her, she threw up. I felt really bad, you know. You know, she's a mom, you know. She shouldn't be climbing walls. But anyway, so he goes over to Katrina. And Katrina first, he says, is anybody talk to you? You know, in true paranoia style. I think his eyes are like this at this point. Has anybody talked to you? She was like, no, no one talked to me. Let's ask Chris, come on over. Anybody talk to you guys? So he just on the spots forms another alliance with Ben, Chrissy, and Katrina. It, what, what happened to the JP? Oh, okay, fine. Now, now I'm feeling bad for Ben. You know, you got a stage four schizo friend, but you know, you're still gonna ride with him. So they form an alliance. In the meantime, right before they go to tribal council, Chrissy 
gets the uh, item. Now remember, it, Ryan won it. They said if he doesn't use it, he gets to pick someone to give it to in the losing group. He picks Chrissy. Chrissy does a smart thing. She doesn't tell anyone she has it. She wants to see how everything goes. So they get to uh, tribal council. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the show. Now, I've always loved tribal council. That's when people throw each other under the bus. Like, I love it. But, you know, it's even more fun, you know, with stage four schizo Alan. And, you know, because it's only a matter of time before he throws people under the bus. This is what he does, okay? And I thought, well, maybe he won't do it. But who was the first person to speak? You know, I got my wish. You know, I love people to just, like, really throw people under the bus. And just get, you know, down and dirty. Like, just get crazy with it, you know. That doesn't mean anything's wrong with me. I mean, does it? No, okay, it's not. Okay, fine. So, Alan go does what he does best. He starts saying that he, uh, at, no, it was Ashley started explaining what happened to her that, you know, uh, she didn't call him stage four schizo. She called him by his, you know, birth name, but, you know, he has another name. Um, Alan, you know, really accused me of JP and, you know, told him how he was like, bully! He bullied them, how he made, J he checked JP's pants. Ew! You know, I, you know, really, I'm really thinking about this. I don't think I would have, if someone pulled their pants down, that I would check it. Because, you know, they, they're not doing too many showers there. No, I probably would have just went home and, or say, you know, whatever. Just, I hope you don't have it. But, you know, not schizo. And she was saying how crazy it was. And they start going at it. Alice says, I'm not going back down now. And at this point, his eyes is like this. I'm not joking. He said, yeah, I said it. I did it. And I ain't going back away from it. I'm loving it at home. You know, the more you know, the breakdown he has, you know, the more I'm like, it. I have popcorn, the works. You know, I told you something's wrong with me. And so... Uh, poor little, um, Jessica's, tr uh, Ashley's trying to defend herself. You know, it was really, really entertaining, you know, you know, for crazy people such as myself. And, uh, but Alan copped to what he did. And when it was time to use the idol, Jeff says, you know, if anyone has, wants to use the idol, use it now. I thought Chrissy would stand up and use it. Because I would, because, you know, I'm a little selfish. I don't trust anybody. And so I would have been like, hey, I'm going to use it. But she didn't use it. And so the whole voting off, the person who got voted off threw me for a loop. Everyone voted off Katrina. You got Olympic mom. What did she do? Okay. I mean, if anything, Ashley was the one throwing up. But they voted off the Olympian. I mean, go figure. And now, but it's kind of a good thing. We have to keep stage four schizo Allen. I don't see um, Katrina causing a big scene back at the camp. So, you know, too soon, too soon to send him home. You know, I need just like a couple more episodes, you know, of the Allen show. That's what I'm calling it, the Allen show. Because, you know, he was the only one, him and the probation officer, Joe, we're the only one giving me, you know, craziness. And that's what I like about this show. You know, it's really good, you know. So, so far, so good. You know, poor little innocent Olympian mom went home first. But, you know, I didn't really get to know her so good. So, you know, I'm not really sad, you know. Yeah, I feel bad. You know, it came out of nowhere. But she went home like a champ. You know, she could have cried. She didn't cry. So that's what happened the first episode. I really liked it. I love this show. And as we know, as time, this is, Episode one, as time wears on and people start getting hungry and, you know, irritated and, you know, it's going to get 30 times worse. But so, you know, I'm just glad that, you know, Crazy Joe and stage four schizo, schizo Alan gave me a really good episode on the season premiere. So, you know, I'll be next week because, you know, I like this show. So see you next week. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs>